case manager Alan Dowson after this afternoon's 2 1 win against Memphis. Please. Alan, Alan takes chances this season in few and far between. We took it well today, did he? Two good goals. Two good goals, I ah, yeah. got in front of Bobby today in the team. Um, I think he's spent most of the time being injured this year, to be honest, but he's been fit the last two or three weeks. Bobby today, or was Bobby rested for the game in mind on Thursday? No, I, I sort of said to Dave that you know, if you think the last three games were unlucky against Lewis stuff, we got beat up against um, Bill and Ricky, and I thought on for 60 minutes that it wasn't too bad really until it said no. So I was giving people chances. So one thing here, eggs are eggs. I'm not saying Bobby won't start, but Tate will start on Thursday night, that's for sure. And um, it took him. So it did, yeah, he was in front of Bobby, yes. I'm not so sure he'll be uh, you know, against um, the game on Thursday. Bobby, you know, all his mercy players when he's fit. Um, but Tate will definitely play, you know, definitely. And there's a few players, again, later by their absence, Trainer and Clayton. Um, are they likely to start Thursday, do you think? I think so, yeah. Um, for a reason, I'd um, well, have a look at a couple of players today to see who played well. I don't think it was a very good game, to be honest. Um, I've had some great battles with Jimmy Cooper, their manager at Tiav and at Morgan Hirschen. And um, that's probably got to be the worst game we've had, to be honest. But it's a typical end of season game where we kind of do anything we can. But yes, I've, I've said for the support, I'd like to try to get them a cup for their support this year. And um, obviously, Thursday wasn't mine. I'm not going to deny that Thursday wasn't mine. I know how important it is to get something. Every season we've been here, we've been in the last game of the season. Um, you know, able to do something, and I would like to try to do the same again here. You know, it's good to see Tom Hutchinson back up. Yeah, Andrew, commanding yeah. performance. I thought, centre. I thought it was excellent. He hasn't played for two months, and to come in like that and command the box, they are. I thought the stuff for Aaron Goods, Owen Girl, if you like, he was excellent as well. I thought the two centre halves kept winning. That's the honest truth. Page come back again, two months out, and I thought started in excellently. And then for young Luke again, another young kid. He's done it right now. So there's young lads like you know. Tom Hutchinson came back in, Ian Gale stepped into midfield. I thought he did it as well, holding the midfield in there. Don't know, right? I thought the three midfielders struggled, to be honest. That's my opinion. Um, all the midfield five really like, didn't do very much today. Um, but, you know, the, I thought back to the, the, the middle two were excellent. I thought Hutchinson had a good, good play for Because um, in the first half, Tom's never had a save to make. And he, he made one in the second, but if you can get tough there and you make them one to two saves a game, then you're doing okay, you know. We've just got to um, keep on nicking on. But uh, again, um, it is nice to have Hutch back, it is nice to have PHE back for strength on the bench. We went into Saturday's game, if you like, and I was probably critical on Saturday. Maybe it's a bit out of the top because if you've gone in the game with Hutch out, Bash has been out for months, Hutch has been out for months, we've had PHE out for months, um, we've had Tate out for months, we have. Um, and while some have got um, Birdie out, which he is now, and um, Hutch, um, Huck, Huck was sorry, out. It's a hard it's a hard thing to do, and because I don't come on here and make excuses, a lot of managers think I should, but I do. And it is hard, um, it's hard to manage. I've had it in it. Um, the last couple of weeks, we'll give somebody a little bit of cheer, and we'll be able to get some of the players back into the team. Um, Alan, Alan Dyson has been out Victory. Makes all the difference in the world, you know. I had a couple of chances where Shahid had a header, should have scored in the first half. Having goods when clean through, should have scored. Um, Tatey here, should have scored. The keeper's made a great save by way, should have scored. But if you get five chances, like I say, in the past couple of weeks we've been having seven, eight, nine good chances. But if you get five and score two, you're set for that, to be honest. You know? so, um, but I'm, I'm pleased for Tatey, I'm pleased for Tatey, you know. So, um, he took good finishes. And he could have, if he had got his big chin in front of the goalkeeper in the um, <laughs> sorry, sorry, uh, in, in the first half, then I think he would have got a hat trick, you know. Um, we're, we're still here. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah. The last day of the Kingsbury League starting tomorrow. Um, how much of a difference is that going to make to the team uh, with the buildings out here, and then next season with the stand here? Is that going to alter the dynamic of the ground, as far as you're concerned? Do you think? I think it'll look a lovely stand. That's for sure. If I said lovely stand there, I think this one will look a lovely stand with four seats. But I realise. I do realise, listen, I, I, I'm quite close, as you know, to supporters and committees and everything else. I do know the history of the club. I do know what um, some things I think expectations go through with food and some things, to be honest. But I do know how much it means and how much the stand means. And at the end, uh, I looked at the supporters thing and I felt good about them, to be honest. I really did. Um, because it's a new era, AFC women, they've got to do what they've got to do, of course they do. But it's sad, it is a sad thing. Where, you know, we've had many happy years here, and if we had the league where we scored goals in here, and you know, even talk about Bash's one against Sutton, that's one of my favourites here. Um, so uh, when something like that happens, of course, it's a very emotional thing, and I've got that, and there's no doubt. So I'm just pleased that, you know, the last goal, if you like, 
who this damn will score at this end in front of our supporters to win a game of football. That's the thing I'm glad about it, you know, I really am. And I mean that, uh, if I'd have scored it down the other end and won 2-1, it would have been great to win. But to win 2-1 with a goal scored at this end in front of our supporters, um, who it means a lot to, and I am generally pleased about that. I am. Cheers, thanks Occupy! K.R.E. Occupy! K.R.E. Occupy! K.R.E. That's the one. Should we go home now? No, I'm not going home. I'm not going home. I'm staying here. Well, I'm not. And the ball is the point. It's got me into a lot of trouble on Saturday. I hope you guys appreciate it. One team in Kingston! There's only one team in Kingston!